and now we're talking with Wayne Gretas. He's a world record hypermiler who is uh, doing another of his uh, pretty cool adventures uh, this week. How are you, Wayne? Hey, how you doing, Javier? Great, great. So tell us about it. I, I understand that you're going to be driving a very special car for the next next few days. Uh, can you tell us about it, what it is? Yeah, well, this one is very, it's way off of my radar in normal cases, but uh, it's, this is not about fuel efficiency, but it's about how to keep your engine clean with the fuel that you use. And in this case, Shell has created a dual fuel Dodge Charger. And in the, when I say dual fuel, that means they will be running a new formulation, and you're going to hear it here first, Shell V-Power Nitro Plus through three cylinders on the right side of the engine. And on the left side, we're using premium fuel from competitive, you know, competitive stations as we travel between San Antonio and New York City, and then New York City to LA. Wow, so uh, uh, let me see if I understood that correctly. So the, the one engine is getting two kinds of, of fuel at the same time. I thought that they will mix in the in the engine at once, but apparently it's not the case. In That's right, it has, um, they have actually two rails And in these two rails, one side is getting fed with the Shell V-Power Nitro Plus, and the other is competitive premium fuels from uh, stations as we go down the road. And what we did, what we found so far with over uh, 8,000 miles of, of driving on this car prior to our little drive from San Antonio to New York City, we already borescoped the intake and exhaust valves. And the Shell side, those valves look as clean as the day we got the car brand new and we opened up and borescoped the uh, intake and exhaust valves. They're just literally brand new. When we looked at the non-shell premium side, and again, we're using premium fuel from competitive stations, and they told me not to mention which ones, but <laughs> premium fuel for all over. Uh, yeah, I mean, all the brands, I guess, right? Every, yes. <laughs> and that those intakes and exhaust valves were already carboned up and dirty and a mess. And at first, I mean, I was skeptical on this until I saw the results after that first 8,000 plus miles. And we're just going to continue that through. And they're going to borescope these intake and exhaust valves again when we reach Jay Leno's garage in uh, Los Angeles late next week. Wow. So um, are you, you're not driving the way you usually drive, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, that's the, I asked, how do you want me to, you know, can I drive the way I want to? Says, well, here's the schedule. You got it. You got 2,400 miles, and you got to do it in four days. Wow! <laughs> so I'm like, well, and then not only that, but uh, because these two fuel cells are only eight gallons each, and we can only use about 70% of that capacity before from the top and from the bottom, we're basically filling after every 11 gallons. Wow! And we're not in a very, you know, and it's again, it's it's to show the average consumer through me and through other media that hey, this. This really is a, a big deal when you have this new adding the package and this new formulation of what it does to keep your engine clean, which again provides all the performance and the economy that the car was built for versus when they get carboned up and then you lose both performance and efficiency as well. So in the real world, let's say that uh, the consumer who is listening to the show and I'm talking about like what fuel should they use one thing is that sh you should always use the same fuel because it's gonna like, like the engine is already more or less like adapted to that kind of fuel is that one of the of the keys to to keeping your engine clean well no it, it has to do with the uh the additive package and shell has been known for decades to have the largest amount of detergents within their fuels and by doing so They've, their engines, when you're running on shell fuel, is kept the cleanest. This new formulation goes one step further, and it not only cleans any residual, I hate to say, I'm going to say carbon buildup on those intake valves, exhaust, and in the injectors themselves. It will not only clean those, but it'll keep them almost to brand new spec. And that's the interesting thing, is how clean these were after 8,000 miles, and we're open up again at, at 13,000. And I, you know, again, I was skeptical. I saw it with my own eyes. We got uh, the pictures to prove it. That you know, here's, here they are, brand new. Here they are, five thousand. Here they are, seventy-five hundred. Here they are, eight thousand. And you can't believe the difference until you see it. Well, this stuff's going to be open to the public starting around June first in New York, and then again later in the uh, another week later in LA when all this gets opened up to the public. So, Shell, you already 
uh, had uh, the Shell V Power. So this is a, a new grade uh, that's going to be available for the public. And when is gonna that that's going to be? You know. That's right. It'll be June first. It'll go nationwide, and uh, we're stopping at stations that have already uh, had their tanks filled with the new V Power Nitro Plus. And you're going to see a big promotional uh, effort by Shell as this gets rolled out from June first forward. Another thing that they're doing is they're going to give away a hundred BMWs over a hundred days after this release is complete, um, after the June first date. And all you gotta do is go to a shell station, use your fuel rewards network card, and anytime you throw it in and buy some V Power Nitro Plus, you're entered in in the uh, contest to win a hundred BMWs. That's how big this is. Wow. Yeah, and that's it's a huge amount of uh, of hardware, let's just put it that way, and some cool hardware at that. And this is also the hundredth anniversary of Shell dispensing fuel in the United States. So there's a whole there's a whole gambit of reasons to be thinking about Shell over the next two weeks, mainly what? for uh, your listeners, a hundred pimps of use, and hopefully one goes into their hands. Wow, that's pretty amazing. So can you please? I mean, this is pretty important information, I think. So uh, all they need to do is like get a card from Shell and start like filling up with this particular gas. Yep, and when they do get that Fuel Rewards Network card, they also get a discount on fuel. First one could then be as, as much as 25 cents a gallon for your first fill, and then it's usually three three cents afterwards, but uh, every little bit counts nowadays, right? Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. So 100 BMWs, do we know the model? I'm, 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 I'm driving a M3 this week. I don't know if that's going to be one of the prices, but uh, any BMWs are pretty cool. I, I can tell you, but I, I they would probably kill me. So I'm going to hold that one back, and you're going to so, find out on June first. Oh, that's great! That's great. So, uh, starting June first, I uh, go to the Shell station, get the card, and start filling up with this uh, special uh, Shell V Power Nitro Plus Premium Gasoline. And uh, I guess this is—I uh, mean, the, the gas is like more expensive than premium and regular or medium. Do you know any about that information? It's, it's, it's a it's a premium fuel. It'll it'll be replacing the V Power, so it's uh, you know it's just a drop and replacement instead of buying V Power, which did have the highest levels. Now you're going to get a new formulation that's oh, okay. better at cleaning your tanks, and it's going to be seamless for the average consumer. They're just going to see uh, new promotion for this new formulation, and it'll come right out of the same pump that they used to get their V power pump. So, in terms of uh, the actual performance of the car, I guess you're not able to to experience that because you're using both fuels at the same time, right? Right. In this car, we can't we can't measure a difference between performance and efficiency, but I can tell you that after so many miles using the standard premiums from XYZ gas stations and the Shell Premium Plus that you get a two and a half percent increase in performance, and it, it, you can see it on the dyno. So we've already got numbers for that. It's it's real and it's right there and it's black and white. There's no uh, no screwing around. So uh, I guess you don't you still don't have data in terms of efficiency, but if the Shell power uh, side of the engine is running more efficiently after a while, I guess you're going to fill it up less than the other side of the tank, right? <laughs> well, we, I, could, I could say that, but I, I can't say that because uh, this, this run is more about the cleanliness of the intakes and the exhaust after we're done. And when the public sees the same, the same thing that I've been seeing for the last few months, they're going to just be shocked at how clean this new formulation is inside that engine. The engine side, it's brand new. Whereas if you look at the other side, it's already carpened up and kind of gunky and, you know, you hate to use the scientific term yucky, but that's exactly what it is. <laughs> and, and we're all going to see it on June 1st for, uh, from the public perspective. And it really is impressive to see how clean an engine can be just by changing the, uh, the fuel that you use. Okay, we're talking with Wayne Gretis. He's a world record holder for Hypermilers. So, uh, Wayne, uh, uh, where is the, I guess you're posting uh, stuff on social media and all that. Where can uh, audience can uh, follow your, your trip? Sure, they can uh, check me out on Facebook under Wayne Gertis, Clean MPG, or they can check me out on Google Plus under Wayne Gertis, <laughs> Twitter under Clean MPG, or my website, cleanmpg.com. Excellent. Well, good luck with uh, with the drive. And uh, so you're gonna end up June first in New York, and then uh, I guess another week uh, to LA, right? That's uh, that's what you said. That's correct. Excellent. Well, good luck again, and I hope to see you soon. And again, we're gonna post all the information on our website so our audience and everybody else can uh, 
not only enjoy your trip but also can participate in the giving away of those 100 BMWs. That's that's pretty amazing. Congratulations to Shell. That is. Okay, and thank you very much, Javier, and I will talk to you again soon. Thank you. Bye. Have a great day. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.